After all these years, to be going back to where it all started. Back to the Matrix. Why is Neil Patrick Harris in the new Matrix? Well, I know why. I already figured it out. He... So this is what I think happened. Neo, who we thought died, reimmersed himself back into... this. But... Because he's the one, they can't really, they could just, they can lie to him. They can just lie to him. But he's, he's getting these images and he's going to therapy to try to figure it all out. And he's at the same time, or... Or, here's what it could be. So, he didn't actually die. They made him think that he died. Put him back into the Matrix. They have him there, and he is living his life, blue-pilling himself. Not remembering the events of what happened 20 years ago. Somehow that happened. So, that's why... You have Trinity. Trinity's not alive. Trinity's not alive. Uh, proof of this, you go back and watch the trailer and notice this is why this is why this is coming out a day late. I'm gonna tell you right now. Because I don't have the time to sit there and watch the trailer over and over again, freeze framing it and all that. I wish I did. I wish I did. I wish I it's not even it's not even like I'm a too busy thing. It's just like who's got the attention span for that? Special people. Me. I just make breakfast, and I give you guys my thoughts. Anyway, so this whole thing, I think, is the, the, the robotic overlord's way. I wish I, I, you know what I should have done? I've watched the trailer a thousand times. I should have watched the fucking movies over the last few years because I'm going gonna, gonna to butcher this. I keep wanting to call them Agent Smiths. They're not. Agent Smiths, Hugo Weaving, he's not in this one, I guess. I guess. Um, the only... So, they, yeah, that makes sense because they, they had like a treaty almost. And they keep him... That's what it is. That's what it is. The end of the movie, the end of the third one, if, if memory serves, I have to watch it again. Memory serves, they make their agreement, and then they absorb Neo. What they do is they put him back into the Matrix, and he's been living his life there for the last 20 years. Now, with that, they're faking. They have to do something with his memories, because they're there. So Trinity, the vision of Trinity is in his mind. I don't think she's real. At least not yet. Here's my thoughts. I She's dead. Like, she's definitely wholesale dead. I think what happened is that because of his thoughts, they can't get rid of her image. So she's in there somehow. He ends up meeting her because destiny is destiny. And that's the way this whole thing works out. It's a big love story. You're going to meet who you're going to have to meet. You're supposed to meet. And I think that he will eventually bring her to life. Like, he's going to wake her up. It's going to be very... I hate to say it like this because it's not... I'm not suggesting anything, but it's going to be very akin to, like, the WandaVision thing. Like, Vision is a creation of Wanda, um, but then he kind of becomes self-aware, and through the situation with that clone, ends up, you know, becoming White Vision. I'm not saying it's going to be like that. I think it's going to be much cooler. I think uh, Neo is going to be able to cross, because he's always been able to kind of cross the barriers between the two realities, I think he's going to do that, and he's going to bring Trinity with him. That's just my theory. 
I think she's eventually going to be real again. Um, but as of right now, she's not. Because if you go back and watch the trailer, there's definitely a shot from her kind of over-the-shoulder perspective. And she's got the green shit on her face because she's not real. That's my thoughts. Neil Patrick Harris is going to be an agent. Putting money on it right now. He's coaching Neo into not realizing that he's the one. That's, I think. Um, other thoughts? The new Morpheus, I'm a little reluctant, only because, you know, it's, it's a, it, you know, this is one of those things, like, people bitch about the trilogy a lot. Um, it's not, the, it's not bad. It's, a, it's, it's one of the better, listen, there's bad trilogies. There's bad movie series out there. This, the, the Matrix is not one of them. Even the third one, for all of its, you know, flaws and downer, you know, messaging or whatever, it's not that bad of a movie, actually. I'm totally eating my breakfast. I'm hungry as so. hell. Um, now, where this all fits, it's going to be tricky because I think, like, the only way you can tell this story is that Neo you know, doesn't realize who he is, and he's going to relearn everything. Like, they got the dojo scene, and, you know, obviously there's a point to where he, you know, kind of snaps back into his own brain, and he, he's able to blast the new Morpheus or whatever. You know what I really want to see would be the callbacks beyond just Trinity. And there's going to be an Agent Smith reference somewhere. Like, there has to be. He's just too, he's too important, and I, I think... Without it being just a remake of the original trilogy, essentially, I wonder if they're going to do a teaser at the end of the movie, then maybe he'll be in the second, or I guess really fifth installment. I don't know. I just can't see them leaving well enough alone. Like, he was too important of a character. Obviously, with, with the Matrix story, with Neo's story, he's too important of a character culturally. Like, they have to... They have to... Just... Imagine, if you will, the movie ends, goes to the green thing, and the awesome music starts. And then there's a cut screen in the mid-credit or whatever, and you just hear that Hugo weaving. Sir Anderson. Surprised to see me? Or something like that. You know, maybe it's not that. But that would be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. I, you know, I'm going to get pushback on that because people are going to be like, well, that story is over. Eh, is it though? We also thought Neo's story was over, but here we are. So, yeah, the stunts look really cool. I'm digging the whole jumping off of... Like, I guess they're doing a lot now with gravity stuff, whereas in the first one, it was all, you know, going up like Neo would be fighting, and they're doing the spinning up where he can fly, the whole thing. This one, I don't know if it's because he's kind of relearning everything, if that's kind of the point of it, but I guess there's more gravity stuff happening, so people jumping down the end, Trinity and Neo jumping from the building to do what? I don't know. Maybe it's the end of the movie. Maybe this is the last one. Who knows? <laughs> it's dark. Um, but there's a you know another character in the middle of it that's jumping from like the fourth story onto like a dumpster or something like that, and then like flipping. I think it's gonna be a lot of cool stuff like that. It's gonna be a lot of cool stuff. Period. I mean, it's weird to see agents and none of them being Hugo Weaving. I know I'm stuck on this detail. I, I get it, but it's been a while since one of these movies came out, and again, culturally, they had a huge impact. So. I don't know. Maybe I'll get, I'll get over it. You know, I hope that's not my hang-up. Like, I hope that's not my little weak, feeble rationale for maybe not liking the movie. That would be that would be unfortunate. Because I, I'm really looking forward to this. I love the Matrix movies. The third one's not a bad movie. It's just not for everybody. I'll tell you right now. I like the whole thing until literally the end. Like, literally. And again, it's just because I... And maybe, and to be fair, I was probably... 21 when I would have seen the third one, 20 or 21, I'm almost 38 years old. Like, maybe if I watch the third one again, maybe that's what I got to do. I got to do, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch all three movies at some point, and I'm going to do a hot take for those. And I'm going to give a fresh perspective of how I feel about the movies. And then that'll, I have to, I have to before I see this one, right? Like, that's just, there's just no getting around it. So, anyway. It's been chatty. For Chetty's hot takes. Um, we got a new Matrix, y'all. Like, how awesome is that? I'm really stoked.
I'm really excited about this. See you when I see you. Like, subscribe, comment. Later.